MD Prepper here, talking more about homemade wine and prepping and the chemicals and enzymes that you're going to need to have better results from your wine. Now most of these items are going to come with your standard kit. Some is going to come with very little. You're going to need to buy extra. Um, some is you're going to need to buy extra regardless of the kit. You're not going to need all these things for every type of wine you're going to make and they're not absolutely necessary but you're going to get a better quality of wine, etc. Good to have around, just depends on the type of wine you're making. First thing that you are absolutely going to have to have, no doubt about it, are Camden tablets. Okay, There's the 50 tabs that came with my initial kit, and here's an extra pack of 100. Camden tablets, you're going to need at least two per gallon of wine. The first tab you're going to use in the initial part of wine making to kill off any unwanted and unnatural, if you will, yeasts in your wine so that you get a good start. Second tablet you're going to use at the end before bottling to kill off the yeast so it doesn't continue to ferment, which will end up popping the corpse off your, off your wine, that kind of stuff, which is a mess and don't want to deal with that. So Camden tablets are a must. Next, that's a pectin enzyme is a must. Uh, pectin enzyme for a lot of things, all your apple wines, other things like that, fruit wines, you're going to need that. Um, wine tannin is good for balancing out the wine. Uh, tannins. Well, I won't go into detail. You need wine tannin. So get some of this, probably buy some extra. You're going to use a fair amount of this. You're going to use a fair amount of the pectin enzyme. These are my starter containers. Um, next, yeast energizer. Now, I tore the bag accidentally, so I'll keep this in a Ziploc, but keep the label on there. You're going to use yeast energizer fairly frequently, just depending on the type of fruit you're using. Definitely have a bag of that if it doesn't come with it. Um, yeast nutrient is also useful. Uh, kits tend to come with that as well. An acid blend right here. You can see that right there which contains a mix of malic acid and tartaric acid uh, to balance out your wines. Again, depends on your recipe. But these things I would definitely have, no doubt about it, uh, just as a general part of my kit. Now, other things I would recommend, not necessary but a good idea, is a no rinse cleaning solution. Something like this. This is uh, easy clean. This is one of many options that you can use to sterilize without having to rinse out your primary, secondary fermenters, uh, your tubes, your racking canes, um, your bottles, etc. This is easy, it's quick. I bought a giant tub of this. My, there's various styles, various brands. There's an oxygen wash that my gear came with, my original kit. I've used that some. I like this better overall. I bought a giant tub just because it was cheaper that way and this is going to last me just about forever. So, not necessary, but probably worth the effort. You know, you get some dirty gear that gets contaminated and ruins your wine. Well, that just sucks. I'd spend the extra few bucks on this tub. It wasn't very expensive. Now, three other items that are not necessary, but I have just to keep around. Um, you see the acid blend here, which is a combination of two acids. Well, a few of my recipes out there that I've used call for specific acids. So, I bought just the tartaric acid, which is some of this right here. And I also bought just the malic acid. Now I've not used these very often uh, but they have come in handy a few times so that was cheap. I've made a bulk order of various chemicals and compounds. Um, another thing that again is not necessary, will not affect the taste of the wine, but will affect the look is something like bentonite. There you go. This um, actually takes a lot of the particulate in the wine out. Makes it clearer, prettier wine, etc. It doesn't necessarily change the flavor of it. Just depends on what you want. So kind of a boring topic but need to be covered. I will be talking about the individual uses of all of this gear in the future as we go on and individual recipes and all that. But at the very least, make sure you have Camden tablets, wine tannin, pectin enzyme, yeast nutrient, acid blend, and a yeast energizer. Definitely have those if you're going to be planning on making a wide variety of wines and make things that are pretty good. Uh, do you have to have these things to make wine? No, you don't. But my initial ones are pretty darn good because I actually follow the recipe. And again, I would recommend some kind of no-rinse solution. It just makes things easier. Any prep out.